think I'm ready for my close-up. What's up, y'all? It's my kid. Welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look using a new line called the Crayon Case. I filmed this video before and y'all like, I had to do it over. But I did it just this time. I really did a really good job. And I'm so excited to show you guys what to do. I'm going to be doing demo and review on these products today. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you are staying tuned and make sure you are subscribed. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you so much for joining and I would love for you to subscribe subscribe to my channel make sure you click the bell down below so you are notified when I upload a video if you guys want to learn how to recreate this look then you guys should keep watching okay you guys jump right in I'm gonna start with color correcting and I'm gonna use her conceal me palette and this is the number three I'm going to be taking probably these two colors in the palette now first off these are really creamy and I like that about it, but the colors are a little too peach for my like. I kind of wanted mine. I kind of like mine a little more orange. Um, when I first initially used this, I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I used it in the wrong way, so it's pretty much a coloring like a um, concealer, and uh, and I kind of want to stick with the lighter curl. I thought it would be like a highlighting palette, like highlight under your, you know, highlight your high. Pro points and stuff but no it's not for that the consistency of it is really nice but well, we're gonna see how this work as works as a concealer today is correcting all right so i know i look crazy and all whatever but i kind of like the way it kind of conceal on the top of my lip i really like that it's a little light for my liking but i like it it kind of got rid of the darkness around my mouth and i cannot stand my mustache area so i like that now right here i don't know just yet we'll see but we'll see when i apply my foundation what it looks like so you guys i'm everything that i use for like my primers foundations and everything i will put it down in the description box if you guys want to know what i use for today i feel like i should have to say it because it's pretty much the same <laughs> or what I'm gonna use I just want to stick to my favorites today so I'm gonna do my foundation and I will be right back okay now that I have my foundation on I'm gonna jump right into I'm trying to open the case I'm gonna jump right into my eyebrows I usually do my eyebrows first but today I want to put my foundation on I just want to go and get it out the way I'm running out of time her eyebrow pomade and I have medium brown because I like dark eyebrows personally I like my eyebrows to match well I like the product to match my natural hair and this is how it looks is so freaking cute I love that and this is how it looks on the inside as you guys can see I already used it already because like I said I already did the video before but this is how it looks on the inside okay you guys I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyebrows I'm gonna use the brush that came with it this is just a regular spoolie and an angled brush the brush is kind of big for my liking but I like a smaller angled brush but you know it gets the job done it's gonna get the job done so I'm gonna brush my hair up and I like to do this eye first, but I think I need to start doing this eye first because y'all, I always make one eye pretty, prettier than the other one. I don't know how, why I do that. First time I used it, I gave you guys my first impressions and I really like this. It's dark, I like it. The product moves really well. I really, really like this. Wow, I wasn't even expecting, like, the first time I used it, I was like, okay. But now that I use it again, I really like it. I, you do not need a lot of this. I really, really like this. And I don't even use brow pomades, you guys, because I'm afraid to use them because I have really thick eyebrows, as you can tell. And I do not need a lot of product on my eyebrows. So, that's why I kind of steer away from brow pomades and stick to pencils and powder because I don't need all of that but y'all I think that I'm gonna be using this for now on I really really like this so you see I really see I do one eyebrow better than the other one I like this one versus this one <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me so I'm just gonna clean it up and blend it in with my natural hairs and my eyebrows need to be groomed so you guys excuse that and I really like brushes like this because you can split, 
back and forth between them and clean it up and you know brush away blend in like I really like that about brushes like this so to finish my eyebrows I'm gonna do my regular eyebrow routine Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna finish cleaning up my eyebrows and we're gonna jump right into the eyes when I come right back. So stay here, okay? I'm gonna come right back. Okay, you guys, I already have my eyelids already primed. You guys, we're not talking about my foundation. This is my summer foundation and I wanted to use the color today. So I'm gonna be jumping into her palette. I got the palette dirty and this is her palette. Ain't it cute? And it has 18 colors and this is a really colorful colorful palette this is a really really one of them fell out this is a really colorful palette and these are her 18 shades she has she has nine shimmers and nine matte colors I'm gonna be coming up with a fall look. Try to come up with a fall look using this palette today. So first I'm gonna be taking my Black Radiance Golden Almond for my transition today. And I'm gonna be taking BH Cosmetics, their number nine fluffy eyeshadow brush, blending brush, to apply this into my crease. And I didn't set my base because I just want, I wanted these colors to be a little bit more opaque today. Now I'm gonna go into the palette. I'm gonna take this red color called Shirley Temple. And it's a red, like a vibrant red color. And we're gonna sweep this right up under that brown. And the brush that I'm using from Wet n Wild, this is the eyeshadow brush. So to deepen up my crease, I'm going to be taking this dark brown color from this Ruby Kisses palette. And I'm just going to put this color right here in, into my crease and I'm going to blow that out. And I'm going to apply this a little bit more into my outer V. And I'm going to take a blending brush to blend this out. I'm just patting this color on here. And I'm gonna go back in with this blending brush that I applied the red and I'm just gonna buff more of that color in there. Then I'm gonna go back in and cut my crease with my eyeshadow base. Okay, so for my eyeshadow base, I want to take a flat brush and kind of blend this out on my lid because I don't want it to crease. Okay, so now going back into the palette, I'm going to take Pumpkin Spice and I'm going to wet my brush. I'm using a for the eyeshadow brush and I want to add this to the center of my lid, closer to my outer V. Then I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna get another brush and I'm gonna take pumpkin spice. 
and I'm gonna add that to the front part of my lid. And I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush to kind of blend all of these colors together. And then I'm gonna go back in with that color that I add into my crease to kind of deepen that up a little more to kind of blend the edge out. To complete my eyes, I'm going to take Golden Almond and smoke that out under my waterline. And then I'm going to take Shirley Temple and smoke that color on top of that color. And then I'm going to take the brown that I used in my crease and I'm going to add that next to my waterline, really close to my waterline. And then for my inner tear duct, I'm going to take Screwdriver from the palette. And then I'm going to take Hennessy and Pumpkin Spice to add a little bit more color. And then I'm going to take this golden eyeliner. This is from LA Girl. I forgot the exact name of it. I will put it in the description box. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. And then I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This. And then I complete the rest of my eyes off camera lashes, eyeliner, and mascara. And then I finish the rest of my makeup off, ca off camera also. Okay, guys, this is the complete look, and I'm so freaking happy how this look came out. The first time that I did it, uh, I filmed this video before, so it was like I don't, it wasn't, it wasn't doing justice. And I did it justice today, girl, because I did my thing today. I was like, I'm gonna do this right today. I'm gonna do it right today. I'm not finna play. I'm not, I'm, I'm not finna play with y'all, okay? And. I love it. I can love how my eyebrows came out and I used the brow pomade at first. I was like, I don't know because I have really thick eyebrows and I don't use brow pomades. And I just can use a pencil and some powder and go on about my day. But I really like this. My eyebrows ain't placed. They're not moved or nothing. I really, really like how these came out. The brushes did their job. So get to get you some brushes. The brushes did the job. And the palette, um, I was a little skeptic at first because when I first tried it, I was like, I don't know. But when I started to work with it and use more of a dense brush, it came out really, really nice. And as you guys can see, it came out really pretty. Um, I love the shimmers in the palette. I really love them. And they're really, really pretty when you wet the brush. Now, when I first used the concealer palette, I was like, I don't know because it's a little too peach pink for me, for my skin tone. But um, I used it wrong. And then um, I was like, okay. Let me use this for like color correcting and I love how I color correct over my mouth because I have coloration around my mouth and I have a mustache. Let's just say that I have a mustache and I color correct and I use it and I love how I can seal around my mouth and in my dark areas around my mouth and certain, my, certain dark areas under my neck and on my forehead and it did its job and I love the darkest color in there is really really gray. For like contouring your face i love that i love that i haven't found a color like that yet and i think that's it i i wanted the highlight but i think she was out of stock of those i really really want to use her highlight because the highlight looks so freaking pretty and yeah this is pretty much it you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching all the way to the end make sure you are subscribed and make sure you like this video and give this video a thumbs thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video peace